Yekani Manufacturing has officially launched a 1 billion rand smart factory in East London's industrial development zone. Joining me now is uh, Sipiwe Tele, who is the CEO of Yekani Group, on how the manufacturing industry is leveraging uh, technology. Uh, sir, thanks so much for your time. I suppose by way of introduction, <coughs> tell us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, my name is Sipiwe Tele. I was born in Zondi, Soweto, 61 years ago. Right. In fact, uh, Tuesday the 5th, the past Tuesday, was my birthday. Oh, happy Which birthday. coincided with the launch of our 1 billion rand smart factory at the East London IDZ. And what, what does the smart factory do? Smart factory dif differs from a normal factory in that it utilizes data as a source of manufacturing. So if we produce 10 units of X product, there will be data associated with that. That data informs what we do in the future. Without that data, then it becomes a laborious system and it becomes, we don't become efficient as producers. So smart equals efficiency and use of data. Sure. And what's your capacity like? Ah. Now, the guys, my guys from the plant knew I was coming over here, so they said I should brag about <laughs> the capacity we have. Think first, I should tell you, we have no competition in the continent of Africa in terms of our installed capacity. In our SMT area, the engine of manufacturing... What does SMT stand for? Uh, that's the surface mounted technology. SMT are those machines that populate the PC board, printed circuit board, with those little components. So if you open your phone or your computer, there's that green or blue board in there. Sure. There are those little components. You can't, you can't see them by the eye. You can't even touch them. So they are populated by that SMT machine. We have 11 lines. But what would be of interest to you is that we have 50 modules on those lines. Hmm. Each of those modules produces 30,000 30, mm -hmm. places, 30,000 components per hour. Mm -hmm. That translates to 7.5 billion with a B <laughs> per annum. I can tell you now, there is no factory organization in Africa with that capacity. Sipua, I find it difficult. How are you going to brag right now about how well you're doing when official national statistics about what the manufacturing sector is doing as a whole are looking very bleak? Listen, I think positively. There will always be difficulties, challenges and problems in the economy. So, if we were to go with you, it means there's going to be a stop-go type scenario. Mm -hmm. If there are problems, we stop. And then if we do well, we then start again. Mm -hmm. If you go throughout the country, we see w you see where they build roads, and there's this stop-go scenario, it just takes time. In fact, your question is good, in that when we thought about this investment, it was about four or five years ago, when the economy was in a bad situation. But we decided we will take the bull by the horn and invest in this, because we believed in this country and the future of ICT technology mm. and the future of Africa. Right. And we haven't been failed. Right. And demand for your, your products. I mean, we were speaking briefly off air that you're about to embark on an international visit to some of your clients outside of the country. Tell me a bit about that. So first of all, just to give you, to give you context, the end of the last financial year, our turnover and profitability surpassed the combined turnover of our competition in this country. So if we produced a hundred rand of turnover, our competition combined produced about 50, mm. which means there's something correct we are doing. And that correct thing is that we take care of our people. They are key to what we do. You know, in the 21st century, you cannot have slavery. Mm. But you asked me about our clients. Mm. All our clients are international. On the decoders that you guys use here, it's an American company called Eris. We produce for them. They supply multi-choice. Mm. The smart meters, electricity ones particularly, 
It's a Swedish company that we produce for. The trip currently, I'm going to Russia, to Germany, and to Prague to talk to some of our clients, that want, potential clients, that is, that want us to produce phones and tablets for them. I mean, superior turnover is one thing that's great, but then afterwards is the demand for the products that you're making, does it match up? And especially in an environment right now, you saw what the RAND is doing, right? We had December lows. As an export, I mean, how does that impact your business? We haven't started exporting. Most of our products are consumed domestically. But listen, the gyration in the RAND is a combination of many, fac many factors political, what Donald Trump says, which has nothing to do with us. You know, he increases tariff rates. That has nothing to do with South Africa. And, the, and yet the rent becomes affected. I'm going to repeat this. If you look at what is happening and then you want to stop, then there'll be no economies. You just have to stick it out and it will happen. So we are locating at the IDZ which means we've got, we're going to have uh, export uh, incentives and export uh, benefits from the government. That way we're not that much affected. But I think what is key in terms of what you're talking about, we need to strengthen the ICT industry, particularly manufacturing in, in technology and in uh, electronics. We continue importing components from places like Taiwan, China, India, that is the biggest cost of our business. We need to locate those industries here. Because Fifi, you can't tell me we can't do this. Island states such as Taiwan produce these things and they do not have the raw materials that we have in South Africa, mm. raw materials we have in the continent. So this thing about exchange rate gyration, the weakening of the exchange rate. I think if our politicians and economists thought better about this, as Africa, we could do better. Mm. Because as an economist, I can tell you what affects the exchange rate domestically is the productivity of the economy. If your economy is not productive, then your exchange rate will be bad. Mm. That's just what the economy tells us.